What's up YouTube? So welcome to day 26, rest day. Today I have with me a very special guest. I'm interviewing Alex Clemente, did I pronounce that right? Yeah. From Meal Dealers, he's the CEO, founder, and owner of Meal Dealers, the local meal prep company that I promote. They deliver to the DC area, Maryland, Virginia, Philly, and Lancaster, Pennsylvania. So if you're in those areas, then I highly suggest checking out their delivery service. Why don't you just give a little background how the company came about, about you, and about where you guys are now, if you're looking to expand, anything like that. We started out as meal prepping for a friend of mine at the gym I used to work at, selling personal training and things like that. And as time went on, I started to realize that people's main need or the biggest thing they were missing when it came to fitness wasn't working out or trying hard necessarily, but it was nutrition. So I decided from there, let's get a kitchen, let's make a move and try to expand this. And uh, from there, we really started to expand fast. We started to build some partnerships locally in the area and it's been grassroots marketing and just growing from local people in the area through neighborhoods and through Instagram or people posting for us or our best sponsor over here. So it's little things like that that kind of gotten us to where we're at now. Like she said, we delivered to Maryland, Richmond, Virginia area, all the way up to Lancaster and the Pennsylvania areas. And we're always looking to expand into throughout Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, pretty much East Coast for now. Shipping will not be something we're going to be doing for now, just to maintain quality of the meals. Quality will be our most important thing. Yeah, I always tell this story. I have a video about it. It was like my meal dealers giveaway video a long time ago, like last fall, almost a year ago. But basically, I, t I tell this story all the time. Like, I walk into the break room. I'm the front desk girl at this gym. He's a sales dude. He's talking to one of the trainers, like brainstorming names for his meal prep service, his company that he's gonna start, and they, like, you threw out meal dealers, and I, I remember it, like, I was like, oh, that's cute, it sounds like, like, drug dealers, but, like, with healthy food, like, and I was such a dork about it, but I was, like, I remember that, and, like, seeing everything grow to where it is now today is just, just so cool to see you make all these connections, like, the gyms you're putting fridges in, the nutrition corners, like, Everywhere that you guys are just popping up, it's like, it's just so cool to watch. And it really is a great feeling, honestly. It's it's kind of surreal. I remember in the beginning, I just kept saying to myself, I just want to last a year. Let's make it one year. Let's <laughs> hopefully we can make it one year. And now it's almost our second year. About 10 days from now will be our second year anniversary. So looking for third, fourth, and fifth year anniversaries coming up after that. So as you guys know, I'm a sponsored athlete of Meal Dealers. And you can use my code Marissa to get 15% off your order from Meal Dealers. And the reason why Meal Dealers is a part of this 30 day kickstart series is because the winner of the contest that I have going for anyone who's doing the program with me that started on July 17th, 2017, those people who entered the winner of that contest for the best transformation is going to get a prize from Meal Dealers shipped to their house. That's their one exception for shipping <laughs> as of right now is just shipping a prize to whoever wins that contest because you guys deserve it. Yeah, I mean, I've grown with the company. I've watched it like literally from the ground up and I just, I've been eating Alex's meals ever since that all started. And so I just want to give you guys some insight on his background, on his company, on his philosophy, just so you can feel more involved in everything that he's doing and hopefully support him in the future. Even if you're just coming to Virginia for a road trip or a family event and you're just visiting for the weekend and you want to stay on track, like that's something that you could contact him for, get meals for, and I'm sure plenty of people come into the DC area all the time for work, so always just keep meal dealers in the back of your mind because they are going to be a very reliable source of awesome, awesome food for you guys. To relate back to meal prep and healthy eating for people who are watching this, how would you say you tied the gap between like healthy and delicious because that's like your kind of like mantra, motto sort of thing, right? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we really wanted to bridge the gap between people eating healthy food and also enjoying it. I think that the biggest thing people say is, I don't want to go on a diet. Oh, I don't want to diet. Oh, I don't want to eat vegetables. What is it, steamed rice and vegetables? Well, 
that's not really what a diet has to be. It's as Marissa knows, and as a lot of people do know, and probably most of you who follow her, it's portion control and eating the right things at the right time. So for us, it was more a matter of bringing home style food while also figuring out a way to cut down the fats, make it work for people, giving them the proper portion, and making them feel at home when they're eating the food like their mother cooked it for them, if you will. One big thing that I am trying to kind of hammer into everyone who is doing the 30 Day Kickstart, who's joined onto the plan, if you've made it this far, then you have obviously been doing a great job of using time management skills, meal prepping, getting to the gym, everything like that. But these are all skills that you have to create into habits, you have to make them into habits. And the first initial part, like my interview with Doug on day 22, we were talking about how the first couple months, the first couple weeks are always the hardest because you're making that lifestyle change and you're changing all your habits and everything you do on a day-to-day -day basis, on a weekly basis, and it's a hard adjustment to make. So as someone who started meal prepping for themselves and for a couple friends in their own kitchen, before he started doing this on like a huge scale, like thousands of meals per week, before that, he was in his own kitchen making meals like in bulk. Like I always tell you guys, preparing your food in bulk is gonna make everything easier in the long run for you, a short-term sacrifice for the long-term benefit. But what would you say is your best tip or best tips for making food in bulk if, let's say someone can't afford a meal prep service and they're just looking to be as cost-effective and efficient as possible with their healthy lifestyle? It's extremely important, in my opinion, to have variety. A lot of people meal prep, they'll make themselves a crock pot of chicken and they're gonna put that with every single thing they eat throughout the week. Well, look into flavors and try to make different combinations of flavors or vegetables to make it more of a variety for yourself so throughout the week you're not getting sick of it. Once you start getting sick of something that you're eating every single day, it's when you kind of decide, hey, I wanna hop off of this and don't wanna continue doing it anymore or it becomes actually like dieting instead of just eating like a normal healthy lifestyle. A way to save money is cutting all of your own vegetables instead of buying the pre-cut vegetables, the vegetables that are either pre-cut or pre-cleaned. By doing those things on your own, you're actually able to save money and create more volume in your meals. And also you can pick out different things to give yourself more variety. As the head chef of Meal Dealers, what would you say, list like your top three favorite seasoning combinations for my audience to kind of test out, see how they like. Okay. Is that a better um, question? That's a tough one. That's a really <laughs> tough one. Top five. Um, well, it, it, like I like to bring a lot of the flavors that I'm um, enjoyed from home, a lot of Italian influence, but then I also like to, every restaurant I go to or place I go to, I might enjoy a flavor or enjoy a thing that I ate at that restaurant. Well, when you eat at that restaurant or there's things that you really enjoy, think about ways you can cut down the fat or what they did at the restaurant that made it so fatty and what you can do necessarily to change that. So for instance, was the chicken fried? Can I grill it instead? Did they cook it in oil or saute the green beans? Can I use steamed green beans? Just different options like that will help you cut down fats and actually recreate dishes and recreate the flavors that you've had at these places and really enjoy them. Or even looking up those dishes from their website. For instance, I guess I'll use P.F. Chang's for example, it's Chinese American style food. If you look up their website, you, I'm sure you can get their ingredients, their recipe. By taking that recipe and then cutting down certain things that you know are high in fat, you'll be able to make it so that it fits your macros or fits your nutrition and still is something that you really enjoy. A big thing that I know that you've always harped on and a reason why shipping nationwide is not in the picture for meal dealers as of right now, apologies to everyone who is international or across the country, hopefully you still get something out of this video as well, but I know that quality is like your number one thing that you just cannot sacrifice because every time I get a meal delivery it's all fresh. That's the big thing that you guys preach, fresh, never frozen, delivered right to your door, good for seven days. How does quality food embody your brand? How does the, the quality of your service embody what you want to portray to people from meal dealers? My best example is like I bring home style food to our area. Initially, obviously, it started in the Virginia area, Northern Virginia specifically, and in this area, it's a lot of commercial food. It's a lot of fast food or chain restaurants where it's mass produced, not necessarily low quality per se, but you don't have that development of flavors or the higher end ingredients or things that they did to try to make you really enjoy the dish. It's made by a 16 year old who slapped it together in, in the back of the restaurant and there's your sandwich. So being from New Jersey in that area, everything is homemade, family owned restaurants and coming down here I wanted to bring that family flavor to our meals and quality of freshness and fresh ingredients, nothing from a can 
all the sauces homemade, every rub, every seasoning homemade. Um, those things are extremely important. Another thing, I'll be honest with you, when seeing a lot of the other companies in the area who did meal prep, the bigger companies, uh, who I won't mention their names per se, Shots but, um, <laughs> they use um, powdered eggs or pre-cut vegetables or everything's frozen. And you can tell in the quality of the food or when you see it, it looks like it came maybe potentially from McDonald's or it's something that you got in like an airline food. So for us, it's image. When you look at the food, when you open the container, you eat with your eyes as much as you eat with your mouth. So it's really important for you to see your food, see what it looks like and say, wow, I, I can't believe this is in a microwave container, this came from a restaurant, right? And for us, no, it, it didn't necessarily come from a restaurant per se, but it is restaurant quality food made easy. I love that. Yeah, one thing that we really just relate on, Alex and I, is over providing our service for the price that you're paying. So whether that be my online coaching, I try to overperform for my clients, I try to overperform for my audience. Obviously, this thing is free. This 30 day plan is free. I try to overperform even though I'm not getting the money back right away. Like that doesn't matter to me, that doesn't matter to Alex. And I think we really, that resonates a lot with us. And so hopefully this video and this partnership can really resonate with a lot of you guys. And hopefully you will support both of our ventures in the future. So final plug, you can use the code Marissa, big on the screen right here for 15% off your meal dealer's order. And I'll put all of his info, actually all his info and all the meal dealer stuff is already in the description box under the 30 Day Kickstart Sponsor section. So you can contact them, go to their website, order from them, see their Instagram, everything like that, all down below in every single video of this 30 Day Kickstart Trainer Program. So that is day 26 for you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow for shoulders and arms, the final shoulders and arms workout of the 30 day kickstart trainer. And I hope you guys all have a great rest day. Make sure to drink lots of water, recover, stretch, foam roll. We are almost through this, power through, finish strong, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.